planet Earth, filled with thousands of endless life forms, all doing their part for the ecosystem. These animals survive, die, and live for the planet. One such place, a small island in the North Pacific Ocean, is the Weber household jungle. One peculiar species of animal in the Weber household jungles is the North Atlantic capuchin monkey. These monkeys live on bark trees for hours at a time, waiting for their delicious but bitter river berries to fall. These animals have no natural predator since there are no birds big enough to kill them on their treetops. Another species native to the Weber household jungles is the bobbit white-tailed sheep. These sheep were brought in by British explorers over 150 years ago. The most peculiar thing about these animals is the fact that they do not harm the environment unlike many other species brought in by humans. At night, the scaly monstrosity known as the Wabagong, Alaconda, prowl in search for prey, such as water buffalo, or even the bobbit white-tailed sheep. These snakes are so elusive, even though they are 16 feet in length, that they have never been caught on camera before this instance. A playful little animal known as a silver-tailed wild house cat emerges from its caves. These animals are almost extinct, but happily they arrive through the jungle. Going near one of their wobbegong trees this cat seems to be hiding from the cameraman. Another cat appears. A yellow-bellied, silver-tailed, wild house cat. These are known to kill the silver-tailed wild house cat. These are fierce predators, not only scary to this silver-tailed house cat, but to the people of the villages around it. It smells, prowls, and looks for its next meal. The tailed house cat emerges successful in hiding from that scary predator. As it relieves stress on one of the Wobbegong trees around the area. But this one seems damaged from human intervention. But when feeding time arrives, they both eat and drink together in unity, knowing that they are safe from their own predators. Endless pollution caused by humans has caused the Weber jungles to be covered in trash thrown in by the ocean. Here we can see a wobbegong tree fallen from all this sickening pollution. There we can see a silver-tailed house cat. The cameramen have called her Luna, looking for food in this disgusting, disgusting garbage dump washed in by the sea. Silver-tailed house cat is now stuck in what seems to be a popcorn bag. These poor animals need to face this pollution every day, not knowing 
liquid could come out. Over there we see a yellow-tailed, silver-tailed wild house cat. The pollution affects its nose, making it unable to sniff a silver-tailed house cat as close as this one is. This is a poor day for the Weber household jungle. But there is hope for these poor animals as many wildlife organizations have dug in to help remove all that disgusting pollution from the Weber household jungle. One association known as Mother Incorporated always cleans after the locals mess everything up. Now, as we say goodbye to the Weber household jungles, we go to another location. Another location on our planet Earth. <laughs>